Well, what do we have here? We're looking at the Jeep that's been beheaded. I just started uh, cleaning up the interior here. I'm going to be replacing a lot of these parts. I posted a video last night and I don't know what happened, so I'm doing another one in the daylight. And I just wanted to document some before footage here of what we're working with. Uh, back here, I just pulled the old vinyl out of here. This is my first time ever seeing the bare floor. Uh, back here in the bed and it looks good. It's promising. There's only a little bit of stuff here. But that's not too bad. I can probably either grind that down and paint it or do a little piece of metal here. So not too bad there. Um, but that's kind of a good old shot of it before I go in and do my thing. So working with a pretty good canvas here I think. Um, I mentioned in my video last night that I got some new seats for it. I got some best top uh, trail max seats that are going in here to replace these rugged ridge seats. Um, it's like uh, FedEx is here now with another uh, delivery. So let me grab that and I will be right back. Okay. Pile of parts. This is uh, a lot of the stuff I got here was from Quadratech. Um, everything under the sun to redo the interior of the Jeep. I'm trying to see what I can do on a limited budget. Um, it doesn't look very limited here, but it is. I'm trying to get a good deal on everything. So there's the uh, C-Res cargo restraint system. Uh, that's going to be the back of the Jeep. There's the new Best of Trail Max seats. I'm still waiting on my back seat. I thought he had it. He didn't. So new sound bar and all sorts of goodies. You'll see it all as it starts to go in. New door skins. Uh, here's the old panels I'm working with. I was trying out a color here. That's camel, and it's not going to be close to the spice, so I need to figure something out for that, but yep, that's the, the mountain of things that I need to start organizing today. Still got some videos coming up on this, don't worry, I promise I'm back at it again, so still sitting here, haven't touched it, I know, crazy, 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 but still the way we left it, just doing the uh, speedometer upgrade and Finishing up the wiring, but it'll get there. Don't worry. I plan on finishing it. I know I keep saying that, but I really do. So, anyway, this video is about this. So, yeah, I just wanted to document some of the stuff here. The worst part about this entire Jeep, which is going to be my first ever welding job, is going to be fixing the infamous rusty, I guess you'd call them rockers. Um, I'm going to pick up a welder this week and start to uh, practice a little bit and then when I feel confident I'm gonna tackle it and I think unfortunately the rust is all the way up here where the J is on the Jeep so I don't know about salvaging the the Jeep stamp but I'm gonna do my best um, it doesn't appear to be anywhere else down the rocker which I've seen is common it just looks like it's right there the rest of it looks pretty healthy. Uh, I did also notice it's got some crust. I know, I should have known this before I bought it, but it's okay. Still would have bought it, but whoa, oh no. See the floor there, but the rest of the pans seem to be okay. I'm gonna, today, hopefully, rip the rest of the vinyl out and uh, see how bad it is, but this is probably where I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt uh, here, there are these wires. I'm going to cut this out with my grinder. I'm going to weld in a patch panel here. Probably take it all the way to here. Just try to weld in something and see how good I do. Any pointers are greatly appreciated. Welder models, um, I know nothing about welding, so any advice is always appreciated. But I'm not going to let a little hole in the floor stop the fun of the Jeep. The damn thing runs too good. So I got it running like a top, nice and quiet. I'm gonna polish up these wheels. You can see here, I did some polishing on them and you can kind of see what'll, what'll happen with them. So looks like they've just seen some weather. So I'm gonna get those polished up and nice. They're just dull right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna give it a good old overall improvement. Got new tail light covers. This one looks like it's newer. This one looks like it's pretty hazy, so. That's what we're working with. And on this side, it's got the same deal right here. This one's not nearly as bad, but
but it's still bad. There it is over here, so you can kind of get an idea what we're dealing with there. That's not actually a rust hole, that's just paint. So, yep. We'll do another update here soon, guys, so talk to you later.